septic line replacement today, SDR 35. Got our gasketed fittings and Ian and Lynn Warren landscaping. Take the diagnosis from another tradesperson. No offense, but always make your own diagnosis and your own decisions. So we have two wall penetrations. We have copper three inch coming out here, and then it banged a hard 90 underneath the uh, those window bays there over to here. Banged it. Yeah, it banged it. That's an Orangeburg 90. I didn't know they made those. Very interesting. Now you know. So we're digging more. We're gonna get a couple more fittings, more pipe. We're gonna do two tie-ins. We're gonna do one from the left side here and one from the right, individual clean-outs for both. We're gonna Y Street 45, and go straight into the tank. That's the plan. We'll know more when we get the ground completely dug and the pipe completely exposed, but this is all Orangeburg from like the 1950s, 1960s, and it only lasts about 40 years. So we'll show an inside clip of what it looks like when we're done. The guys did a great job getting the lay of the land all pitched right and everything. We're cleaning up the copper, it's copper penetration through the foundation wall. Ian is gonna get it smooth so we can put our transition bands on there. And we're gonna bed that in really nice so that there's minimal risk of it sagging. Here's our septic tank. And we're gonna Y in a couple different penetrations from the house with SDR 35 gasketed fittings. God damn. All right, so a little bit of a balancing act here. Actually, this level is not making, I'm not getting an accurate measurement here. Can I have a little, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Can I have a little piece of SDR? That small one. Small, small? Small one, no, hold up. Oh, that one works too. All right. Thank you. All right, so we're definitely good there. 100% good there. Coming in here, just gonna come out right here. Hydraulic cement action. Starting the backfill. Boys are putting good dirt in the trench. We're bedding the pipe in, make sure it's pitched correctly and it's gonna stay that way. Got our connections into the septic tank copper penetrating the foundation so we use uh, transition bands copper to schedule 40 plastic and we're gonna run a bell reducer here so we can get up to four inch outside there's really no other way to do that and then we have uh, SDR 35 by schedule 40 pushing this thin guy solvent welded into our bell reducer so we can glue the SDR into there <laughs> Yes. Yeah, and prime one, please. One side prime. Wrapping up here. Got both cleanouts installed here and here. They're going to mulch this whole area, and that'll probably bring the cleanout cap only to the actual cleanout itself, just above green, the white portion, so you can still see it exactly what we want. We're gonna plant flowers here and all that good stuff. So it's looking good. Got three tie-ins. Everything's pitching nice. They're packing the uh, grade down. And what do you think, bro? I think it's in here. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah, this is Orangeburg pipe. So this was big back in the 60s. I mean, um, if, if it was real weak, you could probably, I mean, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. But it's an oval now. See, it's definitely no longer a circle. It's easily punctured, you know, one tap with a shovel and that's that's broken. Yeah, that's weak stuff. It's tar tar covered cardboard, so
Job well done. Went inside, ran all the fixtures, made sure we had good flow, and we certainly do. We checked for pitch very often, made sure that when we moved one section of pipe, we checked every section prior to make sure that it was still good and had the proper fall on it. Everything is nice. We're covered back up, and our friends over at Lynn Warren Landscaping do a really, really good job, and they're gonna come back here and mulch all this up, make it look all pretty again. But other than those two clean outs sticking out, it was like we were never even here. And barely even see the machine tracks in the lawn so excellent job by everybody